because of the absence of all other forces and effects what we will have is the body going down this height first then traveling this depth and then again going back up because of the retard because of the negative acceleration which was found out to be a getting equal to rho l minus rho by rho times d sorry times g this was the acceleration what we found out this might be given to you or the rho l might be given to you and you might be asked to find out what is the maximum depth d which can be done if we try to consider this here this will be given this will be given this will be given and this will be given and you will be asked to find what d is the procedure will be exactly same also note that because of this acceleration the body is going to go upwards reach here attain some velocity and have the kinetic energy and reach back to some height here due to the absence of all other things we will be having the body going up back to this height only the body will thus stop here again come back again travel this depth thus we see that the body is going to follow an oscillatory motion but though the motion is oscillatory the motion is not shm so the body follows an oscillatory motion but it is not a simple harmonic motion let us consider another problem say we have a container we have two liquids one of them is water let's say raw water is 1 grams per centimeter cube let's say this is oil rho of oil getting equal to 0 0.8 grams per centimeter cube and let's say we have a small block of ice floating in the interface of these two liquids this has a density of 0 0.9 grams per centimeter cube let's say the cross sectional area of this container is equal to a and this a is equal to 100 centimeter square the dimensions of this ice cube are 5 by 5 by 5 centimeter cube what we are supposed to find are change in the height of upper surface change in the height of oil water interface after the ice melts
सो दिस इज आवर प्रॉब्लम लेट इज गो अबाउट इट सिस्टमैटिकली Let's say we draw the interface of oil and water, and this is our ice block or ice cube. Let's say this height is x, this height is y, this is row oil, this is row water, and this is row ice. From the definition or the statement of our problem. we know that one side of this cube is going to be 5 cm so we have x plus y getting equal to 5 cm earlier from our discussion we had initially found out this formula where h1 was the part or the height of the body immersed in the fluid h row 1 and h2 was the height or the part of the body immersed in row 2 here say row 1 is row 0 row 2 is row w so h1 is going to become x and h2 is going to become y this is or found was found to be equal to the row of the body which was which was submerged applying this here we get this uh, this is let's say our equation 1 applying this here we get row 0 or row oil times x plus row water times y divided by x plus y which is equal to basically row ice this will yield me 0.8 initially taken plus 1 to y x plus y is going to be 5 so 5 times rho i and rho i was 4 uh, rho i was 0.9 so 0.9 times 5 is going to give me 0.8 x plus y is equal to 4.5 this is our equation 2 let us solve these two equations simultaneously if we do so we get x equal to 2.5 y also getting equal to 2.5 both in centimeters i just want to state superficially or rather i should say that this can be directly said had we observed one thing which was rho ice was nothing but the average of row oil and row water this was one this was 0.8 hence the part of the body in both the fluids will be the same hence we are getting both to be equal so this is our first observation